Hi folks, welcome to Medium Rare where I serve up my VR sculpting workflow in tiny bite sized chunks. In this episode I'm going to show you a technique that I call the Romantic Caveman because it's all about pulling primitives. Ok, so there are six steps to the Romantic Caveman which seems like a lot but it's actually very simple when you see it. Step 1. Break down the design. Study the design and imagine it as a collection of the most basic shapes possible. You can always draw it out or draw over any reference that you have to get it clear in your mind what these shapes might be. Step 2. Add a new layer. The key to this technique is keeping all the pieces separate so that we can move them about and tweak them as much as possible before we settle on the design. Step 3. Pick a suitable primitive that best represents each of the individual shapes. Don't worry about finding a perfect shape because that will all be sorted in step 4. Use the move tool to shape. With the move tool selected and primed with suitable settings, which is very low strength, normally below 20, and zero inner radius, bend the shape to your will. Step 5. Repeat. Just do this for every shape that's in your design. And the final step, which I normally leave till the very, very end, is merge the layers. So whenever I make a new layer I automatically resize the bounding box to about the size that I'm going to make the object at. I find that's a good resolution to start with. So then we pick a suitable primitive. I absolutely love these little primitives that are shaped kind of like muscle bellies. Don't forget to turn on mirror and then change the base colour to medium grey. This white is just obscene. Just place it and then turn to move. I normally have move at a very low strength, say below 20 and with zero inner radius. And then quickly and loosely just try and match the shape that you've got in your reference or in your mind. And repeat. I'm just going to play the rest on time lapse for you. You do not want to be bored by the 17 minutes it took to make this frog. Holding both grip buttons and pushing towards one another makes the bend box smaller and pulling away makes the bending box larger. Okay, so I do an interesting thing here. Rather than making a new layer, I duplicate the previous one and just reshape it using the move. It's just slightly quicker. Ok, so when mirrors on, medium doesn't allow you to translate layers towards the centre line uh, using the grip buttons like you normally would. So instead we can use the move tool with the strength and the inner both set to 100. Don't forget to set the strength back down low and the inner radius to 0.
OK, let's call that done. Now, the final step is to merge the pieces uh, where appropriate. Now, I normally try and avoid doing this until the very, very end, but I'll show you anyway for demonstration purposes. When I'm smoothing, I normally avoid using average because I find it quite erasy, especially on low resolution meshes. Uh, so I'll use fill and flatten separately as two separate events. Do however use average to smooth the surface a little bit, use it very gently. I don't merge the under part of the mouth here because that would ruin the line between the upper part and the lower part. So I'm going to take this bit and hide it somewhere innocuous eh, so that I don't have to look at it frankly. And eh, I can maybe merge it later on. Okay, I'm going to call that done. Uh, thank you very much for watching and if you like it then please subscribe. I'm going to be continuing adding more and more like this, just little workflow nuggets uh, to help everyone along uh, because this community has been so good to me and I want to help it back.